up low. There we go. That's quick. Okay, I'm gonna stick it in here. I'm gonna put it with this uh, cottonwood first, and I got other stuff in there too, but. Uh, Turn this up a little for you. I think it's gonna go pretty good, so. There it goes. Well, charcoal works, tinder works, and uh, yeah. Oh yeah, it looks, uh, looks pretty wild there. <laughs> oh yeah. What I got here is a little kid's uh, Tin, I put a hole in it. Got the woods, always had the wood stove going, so I'm gonna make some char cloth and I rolled up. I like rolling it up. Some uh, jeans here. I'm gonna make some char cloth and uh, go up to the wood stove and put it in. So that's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> Got a little hole in here. It's also a good little storage container, too. So put it in there. And give it a shot okay we got the fire going so I'm gonna gonna put this char cloth in there Fire's pretty hot we'll see how this goes we'll try to oops not exactly where I wanted it but uh, that bloody thing so the outside is uh, it's catching. That's the label that was on there that came off really quick. But you see the hole there, the smoke's coming out right there. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that. I want it to sit on top, but it's in the coals right now. But the smoke is coming out right here. You can see that. So I figured I'd utilize this kid's tin there. We're never done with it. But you see the smoke coming out right here. It'll smoke, then it'll turn to flame. And I'll try and take it out. And, uh, that's what we'll do. I'll use this and a little, little shovel. But I tend to make, uh, actually my T-tins, I don't even have holes in them and uh, it works pretty good. But you can see jeans make a, a very nice char cloth now you, you see some air coming out of here too hope it's hot enough sometimes if the lid is not tight enough it'll pop off pop off on you you have to be careful but it, you see that that's going to turn to flame soon it shouldn't take too long and give it a shot and then i always test my uh char cloth see the smoke there can't tell if that's the label or the sign. I think it might be coming out. I don't know how it's gonna work. We'll see how it works out. No big deal. Just trying this tin out. But be careful with your tin. Sometimes if they don't fit tight enough, they uh, pop off on you and you can run it. There's no big deal, but it's coming out pretty good there, the, the smoke. Let's see it. See how it goes. That should turn to. Uh, well, I'm gonna shut this up. Uh, it'll get even hotter. Smoke is almost stopped. Got flame coming out the bottom over there, but you can see like the big deer, probably Mount Rainier, I think that is. But. Uh, or, this is etched by where I bought the stove. There's a person there that etched scenes in there and uh, got that. This is a uh, Rainier Model 90 by Travis Industries, but uh, from out west. Very cl clean, efficient burning uh, unit. But uh, still got flame coming out the bottom. You can see that there. Smoke is stopped. Well, it's still there a little bit, but uh, actually the flame's coming out the bottom instead of the top, but uh, we'll see how it works out. 
and uh, I'll keep it in there a little longer. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Take it out with a shovel and this. I have to really let it cool down because it's, it gets super hot in there. Get all fire brick in there too, so. But uh, I have a lot of things to do today. And, um, but I figured, let me, the fire's nice. Let me just uh, make some char cloth. And I do some punk wood and some mushrooms and stuff like that. So when now it's stopped. Just leave it in just a little longer. Every batch is a little different. Let's see how it goes. Be careful when you take it out, especially if your top gets loose, if it gets exposed to air. You could lose your, your char. But we'll see how this goes, man. But uh, yeah, I was in the teens this morning in the morning. This is March. I don't know, it was March. Uh, Let's see, yeah. That was March 7th, something like that, but the temperature's gonna change tomorrow. And we should start getting a good sap flow for the maple syrup, which I'm working on. Do tomorrow to work on that, uh, click sap. But uh, that's what we're doing here. Uh, I don't want it underdone, don't want it overdone. We'll see what happens. Should be almost ready to take out, and there's my dog there sniffing me. But uh, we'll see how it goes. I think I'm gonna take it out. I hope it's long enough. We'll find out. Because it's rolled up, when it's rolled up, you could just roll and take little pieces. It's It's nice, you know. Let's uh, well, sometimes if you cover that little hole, in this case, there was like a little leak in there. So, well, let's uh, put her down here. It's a granite around here. We're just gonna let her go. Sugar maple, or yeah, I'll put a lot on there. That fire's cranking. Mm -hmm. So, the sphere of rod, Quinny Eskimo. I'll get back to you, we'll check this out. I'm gonna give it time to cool down for sure. It's over there. Okay, guys, sphere of rod, Quinny Eskimo. Uh, got one of Burns steel. Just punch in Vern's, he sells, he makes his steels. And um, I'm not using it, but I got punk wood and some fat wood in there, but I'm not gonna use that. Bag of tinner, I'm not gonna use that. What this is mostly is this, it's cottonwood. The inside of the spalted pot cottonwood. Um, made a coaxer from it. Ugly as sin, but looks pretty good, but uh, I'll give this stuff a try. It should work. I tried it in the wood soap, but uh, and I got some jute. Oh, I, I hope that's jute. Uh, I think it is. But, uh, but we'll give this a shot. And this is charcoal we just made with this new tin. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, damn. It's on there pretty good. Okay. Oh, it looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's all rolled up. So I'm gonna just take a one little piece, 
just to see I could just unroll it and I'll take, feels like it should be good. One small piece, I could probably do a bigger piece. I should, I'll do two. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get, get this out of the way. I don't wanna waste it, but uh, so put this on the flint here. Let's give it a shot. And we'll see if we can get a little fire going here. Let me, uh, see what we got here. So, uh, light this up low. There we go. That's quick. Okay, I'm gonna stick it in here. I'm gonna put it with this uh, cottonwood first, and I got other stuff in there too, but uh, I'm gonna turn this up a little for you. I think it's gonna go pretty good, so. There it goes. Well, charcoal works, tinder works, and uh, yeah, oh yeah, it looks, uh, looks pretty wild there. <laughs> oh yeah, but I'm not gonna light a fire right now. I just wanted to make the charcoal off to make sure it worked. Um, as you can see, works quite good. So, glad you came along. Gonna keep this in here. Good char tent too, like for a campfire or something like that. So, little kids thing. Damn, I almost took the stuff out of here and took it from the kids because I wanted that tin, but I didn't. Anyways, it's March 8th. Still some snow on the ground, but it's, it's melting. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, yeah, it worked out pretty good. And the uh, cottonwood inside the park worked pretty good. You can find yourself in Piss Elm, that works good too. That's what the old timers call it. But that's cottonwood. But uh, we had a good fire. So that's it. We made char cloth and we made it work. So it burns steel. Pathfinder makes a nice one. Uh, uh, Dom Minichetti, uh, Dom, he makes some good steels, but you know, he doesn't sell them too often, but uh, he makes some real good stuff. But uh, yeah, this works. Burn, he has the flint and the steel, and it's a pretty good deal. A couple towns away from here, actually. But, and I got my little flint right here. I think I might put the, uh, not just, not a little too big for that, but maybe I'll just put the flint in there anyways, in with this one. But, uh, cause it's rolled up. There's actually a lot of flint there, believe it or not. And, uh, this one has some punk wood and some other stuff in there. But uh, yeah, we're in decent shape here, man. So, but uh, it's a beautiful day, a little chilly. I'll check the temp and I'll get back to you. Yeah, it's about 31 degrees right now. It was in the teens this morning. So I would say, uh, well, let's just call it uh, zero degrees C. But uh, yeah, it's a nice day. So this is uh, Quinn Yesimo Fair Rod. And uh, we're just, um, we're testing our stuff here out in the back here back 40 feet and uh i always well there's still a lot of coals there i gotta be careful i haven't had any rain in a while but uh, it's my rocket stove right here pizza oven all over here but uh yeah but we just want to test all this out a little breezy might might hit 40 today maybe maybe not i don't know 37 whatever and the rest of the week's going to be kind of warm so but uh that's it man cool